Right, so Hayley, just to get it in perspective now, I know you've obviously, you're in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. What is your background to date in terms of your flying? Um, so I've just, uh, well earlier this year, finished my wings course on the T6 Texan. Um, and from there went to 3 Squadron uh, mm -hmm. and started training on the A109 helicopter. Okay, cool. um, which is the beginner helicopter um, in the Air Force and so I've just finished conversion training on that this week right. and uh, we'll start um, sort of the, the proper flying job next year. Yeah, okay. mm. So obviously for, for a while now you've been here as a, a volunteer with the Vintage Aviator in yep. Masterville, New Zealand um, and this morning you went up as uh, ballast effectively in the back of the Echo DH4. Now, one of the interesting things about that as a two-seater, um, it's actually got some pilot control in the back, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I think it's it's the only one that I've flown in the back of that's had full control. Um, yeah. So I've, I've flown in the back of the Bristol Fighter, which only had pitch control, uh, yeah. and you were able to control the rudder by holding on to the rudder linkage, the, oh, right. the okay. cord on the side. And <laughs> so it's was, a very hands-on job then. It was, yeah, <laughs> but um, the... The DH4, it's got it's got full pitch roll and yaw control and throttle on the back as well. Oh, okay, um, so, cool. so what was the the point of that from from having that? Was it a training perspective with having that control in the back, or was um, it a safety consideration? Or honestly, not sure. Uh, they they do use it for the training, so the instructors will sit in the back yeah. uh, here at TVL and they'll they'll run through the person that's getting their ratings. Yeah. We'll sit at the front and the instructor will be in the back so yeah. if anything goes wrong they've got control. Oh. But um, back in the day it would have been used for uh, some like time for the pilot to, to just not have to do anything, be right. hands off so yeah. the guy in the back might might fly for a bit or right. yeah, no, it just depends. Right. right, so back of the DH4 today. Yep. Flying it for the first time from the rear seat. Yeah. What was it like? It was uh, it was interesting. You've got um, you're sitting quite low in the back, right. which you don't you don't really realise until you've got to try and spot the aircraft that are around you. Yeah. So um, there was quite a lot of sort of trying to move your head around the the wing, the upper wing, when we were joining for the um, turning rejoin. Right. Um, and also the chair in the back is just a stool. So it's it's got no it's got no back to it. It swivels. So as soon as you're trying, because this aircraft it's it's not harmonised particularly well. Mm. So you need to lead any kind of turn with rudder. Right. But the problem is if you don't have anything like the back of a chair to push up against, it's so hard to push the rudder right. with enough force to actually move this huge yes. aircraft into yeah. the yeah. direction. And obviously that, that stall in the back, you say it swivels, that's because it's essentially a gunner seat. Yeah. The gunner needs to, to yeah. turn around. That's from, what it's and, made for, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So while well, you've got the controls, it's not really a position for a pilot. No, I was, so I was having to have my feet on the rudder pedals. I had this arm up against the, the front bracing myself so right. that I could actually put force on the rudder pedals right. and the other hand was was right at the top of the control column so I could get as much torque right. as much sort of force applied because it was quite a uh, it was quite a mm. heavy control right. yeah I, I was listening to some of the other guys I mean I think they've said that the DH4 is nice to fly in general yeah well I mean I've, that's the that's the second one uh, World War one aircraft I've kind of had a go at flying right. Um, right. And I don't really have much experience in aircraft of this age. I mean, I'm used to the Texan and the 109, which are a bit, uh, a bit easier to fly than these kind of aircraft. But right. um, yeah. Okay, so interesting experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting. Novel. So, yeah. all right, thanks for that. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Pizarro. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please feel free to hit the join button and uh, see many more. And if you have joined already, please enjoy the rest of the videos. Thank you.